My name is Eugenia DeMella. Um, I've been in the United States for 20 years, and I'm Camilla Freeman's mom. Okay, Camilla. Do we have friends over? Seriously? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and they want to know about you. How old are you, Camilla Freeman? I'm 14. Mm. And how old are you going to be on your birthday in September? Uh, 15. <laughs> That's right. Um, what do you usually do for your birthday? Do you have a party? Do you invite your friends? Friends, friends. Camilla was born on her due date, and she hit all her milestones Somewhere around her first birthday, we noticed that she was not really sitting up uh, or she, she was really, really small for her age at the time. We addressed that with our family doctor and we were referred to Iowa City Center for Disabilities and Development. We met with uh, different specialists. They just said, you know, it was developmental delays. I asked for referral to Mayo Clinic and they found that they, she has spots on her brain. And the kind of an official verdict was that it's not genetic, it's possible brain damage. Almost every day we had at least one therapy, either it would be occupational, physical, or speech therapy. I'm originally from Turkmenistan and my first language is Russian. It was important for me to have Camilla speak Russian. However, when we started going to the speech therapies, I had to make a decision to speak English and make sure that she speaks at least or understands at least one language. Where do you go in, in August? High school. High school, that's right. Is that your first year in high school? Mm -hmm. Do you like doing chorus and band? Yeah, chorus and band is the best ever. She makes friends at school uh, in the same class, but then those kids grow up and they change and they have different priorities, different friends, different interests, uh, where Camilla kind of stays behind in this early childhood. So every summer, Camilla goes to... Camp. What's the name of the camp? Camp Sunnyside. That's right. What did you start doing at the camp? Did you, just, did you start writing your stories? Yeah. She would tell the story and counselors would write them. Once upon a time, there was the King Max and Queen Mama and Baby Camille. Then lightning strikes in the castle. Our team members who support the role of summer camp counselor come from all over the world. And when we ask our counselors, why do you come back year after year? They will name you specific campers, and they're the reason why. And time and time again, Camilla is that camper. Last November, Camilla got? Awards. Award. It's a spirit award. Yeah. Where did you get that? Guess um, Because were you? Drink. Kind, or were you not kind? Kind. You were kind. Were you happy or were you not happy? Happy. You were happy all the time. Were you friendly to all your friends? Yeah. Yes. We tried Dance Without Limits, I think, at least seven years ago. And she just struggled so much. I think I wanted her more to dance than she actually wanted to. And this time she did it. She did it and she um, had such a great success. So a lot of things that we tried when she was younger, I try to try it right now because the way she looks at the world a little bit differently and it's not scary anymore. <laughs> what kind of musical are you gonna do with the theater? Is it high school musical? Yeah. Camilla is a part of 28 Penguin artists that are doing a high school musical junior here at the Des Moines Playhouse alongside their peer mentors. When we first started this process, Camilla was a little shy. She has blossomed into this thriving artist here on our stage. What I've learned, because the 
world of people with disabilities is new for me as well. I never grew up around disabled uh, people or none of my close uh, family uh, had any disability. So I, I grew with Camilla. And one of the things that I noticed with Camilla, and I think that's the greatest thing about her, that she sees people differently than anyone else. She doesn't have this jealousy, judgment, or that's not part of her personality, that, that innocence. But I think the main thing, you, you will need to be an advocate for your kid maybe entire their life. <laughs>